Hey, Icon here from Voclia Music and today we're going to show you how to use Doubler as a vocoder in Ableton Live. Normally vocoders require two inputs, one audio and one MIDI, but since Doubler is both of these rolled into one, it makes it really quick and easy to set up. We're going to first create our own custom patch and then use it to sing in some lines over a beat. Then we'll get into some sound design using the vocoder as a pitch riser over the beat. Hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in and create the vocoder patch. For this we need the audio channel that will have the vocoder on it and the MIDI channel that will be sending the synth patch and the notes chosen to the vocoder. So for the synth patch we're going to use Brasinski by Ableton. Just make sure the detune is down to 0 0.5 and the bright is around 800. Let's make sure doubler is sending MIDI. Okay, that's working. We'll mute that patch for now because we don't need its original signal. And then we'll rename it to vocoder carrier. Also, we just want to check the notes that doubler is letting through to it. So we've selected the key of E minor because that's the key of our track. And we've also come here and reduced the stickiness in the pitch. This makes it easier to jump from note to note while singing lyrics. Now for the audio channel that will have the vocoder. Let's delete these other plugins and insert the vocoder. So first make sure that Doubler is sending audio to this channel. So let's check that. One, two, one, two. That's working and you can change your audio input here in preferences. So we won't get any audio right now because of the vocoder, but once we choose the carrier signal here, we'll choose our vocoder carrier. Now both should be interacting and we should get some audio. Go in, go in, go in. The signal is a bit low, so in this case just add a utility. Increase the gain a bit. Go in, go in, go in. Okay, we can enhance the sound to increase the quality. We can draw in an EQ pattern to emphasize the highs and cut the lows. This really changes the character of the sound. Go in, go in, go in. We'll reduce the formant for a deep voice kind of effect. Go in two, go in two. And we'll add some ambience by sending the signal to reverb and delay. Also change the name to vocoder main audio. Go away, go away. I'll add some more gain. Go away to the clay. Now to add some more character to the sound, we'll use OTT and increase the high band, but first reduce the amount so it doesn't get harsh. Go away, go away, go away. Without. Go away. Finally, we're going to use some overdrive to just saturate it a bit. Lower the drive so it doesn't distort. Increase the tone so it emphasizes the high frequencies. Going to the club where I feel low. When you're recording, make sure that both your vocoder carrier and audio are armed, so you're recording both signals. Let's try to sing a line over the beat now. Now for the next one, we're gonna try adding some chords to the vocoder. So for this, we'll go to our synth patch and put the chord effect there. But we also want to make sure every chord we use stays in scale. So we'll come to our scale, choose C minor here, and then bring that root note to E. So whatever note we sing will stay in E minor, even if it's in a chord shape. So for the chord, I'm just going to add the minor third interval, the fifth interval, sem seven semitones up, the octave, and another third interval. So here's how this should sound now. So you can experiment with all types of different chord shapes and different combinations, different octaves, different intervals, and you'll get a lot of different results. Let's try to record in something with this.
after you finish recording, you can go back into your MIDI and make some changes. You can clean up some of the ghost notes. You can change the notes. You can automate some characteristics of the vocoder to make things more interesting. The formant is a great one to start for this. For example, I'll automate the formant while this part is playing. For the final part of the video, we're going to get into some sound design and use our vocoder patch to make a pitch riser. So go into doubler and increase the pitch bend range to 12. We also have to make sure this is matching in the synth patch we have. So here it is set to 12 here in the Brasinski synth. So let's just see how that sounds. Maybe better to take off the chords first. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let us know in the comment sections if you have any questions whatsoever. For more information about Doubler, head to voclia.com and subscribe for more Doubler videos. See you next time.